Good evening and welcome to the Rutland Halloween Parade. This is a very exciting night, beautiful weather. We're so excited to be here. A special shout out to my usual co-host, Tom Leipold, who is busy directing this whole production this evening, along with the rest of the cast of PEG TV. And we'll be thanking them throughout the evening. Uh, and first, I'd like to introduce you to my co-host tonight, my very own son, Stephen Wilson. How you doing, Ma? <laughs> I'm good, buddy. How are you? Good. Good. Nice to have you with me. Nice to be here. Say hello to your little sister Catherine and your grandmother at home. Hello everybody. Hello and hello to all of the Rutland Halloween Parade fans. Um, the usual excitement tonight and maybe even a little more, I don't know, amped up because it's so warm yeah. out and it's not raining. <laughs> so this is fantastic. Uh, we see the parade coming at us right now um, uh, from our view. And then uh, your dad, Andrew Wilson, if we don't have enough Wilsons in there tonight, is down there getting a really close-up view. Um, here comes Bendig Paving and Seal Coating. Um, or no, Bendig Paving and Seal Coating. They loaned us their the flatbed tonight. Them. Yes, <laughs> we are sitting on that right now. We have the Rutland City Board of Aldermen carrying the Halloween Parade banner this year. Here comes the Rutland City Police. It's Governor Phil Scott. Governor Phil Scott, that's right, coming through there. Hey, Governor. <laughs> and we also have Sherlock Holmes and Watson, also known as Mayor Mike Dungis and his wife, Sarah Atkins Dungis. <laughs> nice to have them with us tonight, along with the Governor. And there's the police coming by. Needing and appreciating our police now more than ever. Yes. Along with the Rutland City Fire Department. Stephen, this is, uh, it's not your first parade, we should say. You've been nope. uh, in the parade in one fashion or another since the year 2008 when you were a Cub Scout. Yep. First time on the other side, I think. First time on the other side, although Stephen's been a field producer for Peg TV for a couple of years Two now. Years, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's always fun to see the fire trucks. Names you're seeing on your screen right now. These are some thank yous for our staff and other people in the community who are helping make this parade what it always is. <laughs> it's fun to see the fire department. Rich L. Nicky's uh, name was just up on the screen. Rich is up here on the flatbed with us, giving us all this great camera work tonight. Thank you to Rich. Jim Bouton. Jim Bouton's back at the studio making sure everything's going well. <laughs> What's all this action? fire department is getting um, not really getting into the fun this year. I assume these aren't the trucks that they take <laughs> in an emergency. <laughs> not in the emergency, just for the public fun stuff. Is that coming our way? Oh, this is our mystery jack-o'-lantern. No longer a mystery, that's Barbara Spaulding. Hello to her, looking lovely. So this is the Bellevue Avenue Haunted House, also Mentor Connector coming our way. Bellevue Avenue Haunted House is once again collaborating with the Mentor Connector to celebrate their 20th anniversaries and asking us to think about becoming a mentor. Here's our pumpkin royalty coming our way. This is Olivia Gianni and Cameron Canucci. They promised they'd wave to us and they're doing it. What a cute couple, Stephen. I got to meet them at the 
pumpkin pageant. This is from Proctor High School. With their song, Let It Grow. And then the Rutland Free Library. Have you seen them around town? Um, riding the book bike? I have, yeah. Break in the action. You guys are waiting for the drum skeletons of the earth, which is always a showcase for this parade. Um, time to maybe give a few thank yous. Special thank you to the good fellas at Comcast and Xfinity, Bendig Paving and Seal Coating for the flatbed that we are using for our production tonight. Rutland Rec and Parks, Kim Peters, April Chaffee, Tyler Dolan, and Joe Bonacera. Chief Brian Culcullen from the Rutland City Police Department, the Rutland County Sheriff's Office, also Chelsea Vogel, Rich Elnicki, Jim Boughton, Chris Donahue, and Nancy Donahue, and of course Tom Lapel from Peg TV, and then uh, I guess the Wilson family were yeah. on here too. Yeah, I'll thank you so you don't have to thank yourself. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. Uh, also, Stephen Wilson and Andrew Wilson are here tonight. Three out of our four yeah. main group in our family. It's a good crowd here tonight. Lots of excitement. Heck, we're always excited just when it's not freezing cold, it's raining, loaded. and the wind blowing us out of our chairs, right? <laughs> I hope everybody's munching on some candy as they're sitting at home watching this. You know we are. I know we are. Got some Reese's peanut butter pumpkins working here. Yep. And looky here, we've got the drum journeys of the earth headed our way. This year the Skellies are putting on a new show following in the footsteps of Jack Sparrow of the Black Pearl of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Did you ever watch those movies? I did. I did. I saw that one at least. At least the first one, <laughs> yes. right? I don't even know how many there are. Yeah, the Skellies are coming our way and they have added a new group called the Flag Corpse Clan with choreographed flags. I can't wait to see that up close. And that's the fun part, Stephen, is that whether you're out here tonight or whether you're at home watching on Peg TV or streaming it, right? right. You can enjoy this parade from the comfort of your home. Absolutely. Thanks to the good folks at Peg TV. Here they come. in the house because we were right at the spot where folks come and stop for the judges. That's right. 
Oh, look at that pirate ship. That is impressive. Every year when I think the skellies can't top themselves, mm -hmm. they top themselves. <laughs> look at that. They're having fun tonight. <laughs> yes, folks, this is indeed Rutland, Vermont. Our little small city is pulling out all the stops for a wonderful production and the Halloween parade, 62nd annual, I believe. That's right. Believe it or not, even well before I was born, this parade <laughs> was going on. I believe it. <laughs> Stephen, have you happened to catch the uh, the new statue, the unveiling of the Batman I have statue seen it. with I the have. parade founder Tom Fagan? That's pretty terrific. Uh, we also have here American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, telling us that hope is sweet and letting folks know that they are loved, they are needed, they are not alone, and there is hope. An important message. Great looking float too. Very sweet. Woods Roofing coming by in a 1927 Model T. It's called the Grinch. You can Wonder see why. why. <laughs> this is owned by Raymond Wood. We thank them for being here tonight and adding to the festive atmosphere. Creek Motors coming along. With a really fun, fun float there. Small but mighty. Oh yes. Here comes the marching band from Rutland Town Elementary School. Doing Duran Duran's Hungry Like the Wolf. Ooh, brings me back to the oh, yeah. 80s and my childhood. <laughs> band is made up of 5th through 8th graders and it's directed by Aaron Audette. one of my students a shout out is <laughs> in that band. Who uh, might that be? Uh, Macy. All right, on Macy. The, uh, bass drum. Killington Resort also came by. They've got a snow cat being driven by the spookiest operator named David Wrong. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. Oh, Snowcat, David Wrong, says he may not have the greatest safety record, but no one can compete <laughs> with how scary good those groomer tracks are. us winter they say winter is on the way are you ready mm, I like to think I am but probably not oh, I'm not ready for winter but Killington is they're right there for oh, you <laughs> here comes the Trinity Episcopal Church with a spooky choir procession oh. <laughs> They offer a special shout out to God, of course. That's their first one. 
and then all the volunteers who helped make this night come together. We got some, uh, you got to give a shout out to this pumpkin yeah. royalty. Shout out to my alma mater, alma mater of MSJ, uh, Alexis Fuster, Mason Boudreau. That's right, I, get to, I got to meet Alexis and Mason from Mount St. Joseph Academy. And like Steven said, that's his alma mater. And you marched in their marching band. Did. A great number. Several of years. Oh, yeah. They even came back one year when they were short of snare. Yes. <laughs> There they are, the small but mighty school. And hello to their pumpkin royalty. Alexis. Send that. I thought that was Rutland pumpkin royalty that just came by, but. Well, Stephen, this has got to be the Rutland County Agricultural Society, don't you think? Absolutely. <laughs> Founded in 1846. What do you think about that? And I thought I'd been here a long time. <laughs> what would he do without our farmers? Decorated in a Charlotte's Web Halloween theme. Your sister would like that. Got the hollow rockin' pumpkin from One Church of Rutland. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Hollow rockin' pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> they invite folks to come on Halloween night from 4 to 8 p.m. on Chestnut Avenue for a hollow rockin' ween. That's a nice offer. New story coming, new story center coming up next. Toy Story theme. Celebrating the kids and all of us. Who doesn't love the Toy Story movies? This is uh, Brian Reed and his custom built e bike. A reverse trike with aluminum frame and carbon fiber shell. How about that? Weighs 180 pounds and can carry 50 pounds of groceries. How about that? What do we got coming here, Stephen? This is a pretty lively group. Heart of Dance Studio. Heart of Dance Studio is a fun and safe place for kids. And they're out here tonight showing you some of the things they can do. I like the dinosaurs. <laughs> you know how I feel about dinosaurs. There's a banner for the Justin Thomas Memorial Park. Newly renovated, looking great. It is it's looking beautiful. fantastic. I used to take you there when you were yep, a little tot. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take you there again if Please you like. Do. <laughs> yeah. Comes Rutland Youth Theater. Well, this looks like Willy Wonka to oh, yeah. me. Rutland Youth Theater will perform their show on December 8th and December 9th. River Witches, <laughs> inspired by Bewitched, aka B. Davis. Pumpkin Royalty from Rutland High School, Emily Hawkins and Walter Kyle. And that would be the Rutland High School Band. <laughs> nice shot of Emily. 
Kelly Hawkins there. Bikes, crew of zombies riding the parade on bicycles, trying people to protect their brains. Wear a helmet, very important. Life in Vermont is right here in Rutland. Did you know that, Stephen? I know that. Together, they are celebrating 35 years of fighting cancer, and this year their theme is Jurassic Relay. They're going to make cancer extinct. Next up, the Vermont State Employees Association saying thank you to all the public servants that make Vermont work. We remain Vermont strong. I just saw a gremlin go by. I haven't seen a gremlin in a lot of years. It's always nice to see them. Now we're expanding minds. The Early Learning Center. <laughs> Float is decorated in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the spirit of Halloween. Brushworks painting and drywall. Expanding Minds Early Learning Center for the Breast Cancer Awareness. Hello. Nice job. <laughs> Next, we got Mountain Treasures. They sell toys, self defense keychains, collectibles, tools, and more. Nice little shop down in House Center. Sounds like your kind of place. Oh, yeah. Here's our Fairhaven Middle and High School marching band. Sounds like Ghostbusters to me a little bit. It does. Of the Clarendon Fire Department. There's the skeleton crew. It's 
long as they don't have a skeleton crew when there's a fire right, call, exactly. right? Clarendon Fire Department is always there for their community. And here comes the Starlight's Dance Academy. This year is Barbie themed. I was wondering if Barbie would make an appearance at our Halloween parade, and she has. We've got our Starlight Dance Academy dancers, ages 3 to 18. Oh, how fun, all ages. everybody out enjoying themselves tonight and not freezing isn't it? it makes us all the more happy special shout out to the American Red Cross in the Rutland area pulling a trailer with a 10-foot skeleton who's giving blood with other skeletons and spiders around Have we not gotten to that one yet? Still in Barbie, yeah. Still in Barbie. Oh, yeah. That would indeed be Barbie. There's our little dancers right there that went by. If I were that m and I'd be a little afraid to be out here tonight. There's a drop of blood. Oh, that's blood. Don't get them confused. I always see candy everywhere I look. Yeah. There's our American Red Cross. That would make more sense. I was wondering where the other M&Ms were. I got candy on the brain. Don't you all? Yeah, blame you. our skeleton donating blood. <laughs> Can't that imagine is, he's got a lot to give. But. He does not. But he's going to give every last <laughs> drop he's got available. Here comes the Castleton Alumni Association and their spirit band. I am part of the Castleton Alumni Association. <laughs> you know, someday folks need to go and look up the uh, history of Castleton, which is pretty spooky oh, yeah. when you think oh, about yes. it. Started out as a medical school. because that's the old chapel yep. there where they had the spooky spooky past of medical students digging up bodies that yep. they could uh, learn from let's put it that way huh? kind of an interesting history that's got to be our hockey folks Raha Rutland Amateur Hockey Association you know that's kept a lot of kids busy on the ice for many, many years. Last year, Raha had three te teams win state titles. We've got the Boys and Girls Club of Rutland County. Speaking of keep, keeping kids busy and doing positive things in our community, and their float this evening is titled Trick or Treat, Smell My Feet.
was quite good. It was. I was a little scared. <laughs> they did a great job with that. Boy, you know, you love to see a nice night because these folks work so hard on these floats. Way more than just the day of, right? Months and months in advance. We have the Rutland Regional Medical Center, Community Health, VNA and Hospice, and Rutland Mental Health Services coming up next with a Care Bears theme. Also, again, going back to the 80s. I've always told you, though, some of the best things happened in the 80s. I believe it. <laughs> he believes me. He wasn't there, but he believes me. Aww. Uh, Everyone, just try to picture your favorite Care Bear. I bet you'll see him up on that float. Did you have a favorite Care Bear? I didn't watch a lot of Care Bears, but now I'm thinking I should. Pretty great. I think I like, was it Cher Bear? Sharing's good. Sometimes it's hard to tell when one float ends and another one begins, but I think we've got a little break here, a little break in the action. And you get to just see some of the fun and chaos that happens exactly. in the middle of the parade. Candy being handed out, little kids so excited. Coming up, the Rutland County Pride Center. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Designed by Cameron Etherton and TJ Wears Vicky and built by Rutland County Pride board members. Please check out their website or find them on Facebook if you'd like to know more. Got some good spirit going tonight. I have a few co-workers in the uh, parade tonight yeah. from the Board of Aldermen and the Rutland County Pride Board. We gotta have uh, West Rutland going by here. That's a great looking float. Pumpkin royalty from West Rutland. That's Garrett Owens and Samara Raish. Very nice to see them because they had a soccer game the night of the uh, pumpkin royalty pageant and I didn't get to meet them. So very nice to see them there. I was wondering if somebody was going to do Wednesday Adams, weren't you? Oh yeah. They're doing it well. They're doing it very well. I'm getting creeps just watching it. Got the Green Mountain Squad, 501st New England Garrison, and the Alderan Base. They have their own Green Mountain Squad here tonight. Cosplaying Club of Disney and Lucasfilm. Travel across the region to benefit events like the American Cancer Society and Make-A-Wish Foundation. What a lovely thing to do. Who doesn't love to see a stormtrooper coming through, right? One of my favorites, the Vermont Farmer's Market. Walkers are dressed as farm animals, veggies, and scarecrows.
Rutland's pretty cool having a year-round farmer's market, don't you think? Yeah. The one we get to go to outdoors and then the one that heads inside right around this time of year. <laughs> and those cute little chickens out there. It's a great float. You know, you can't get much more uh, ingenuity in a group than a bunch of farmers, right? right? They gotta make hard it work. Workers. They're hard workers and they gotta make it work no matter what's going on. Well done. Coming up next, we got the Barstow PTO followed by the Barstow Marching Band. Barstow is a small school. They do such a lovely they job. Do. It's a nice community. They are representing superheroes. And Barstow wanted to thank Neshebe Elementary School for loaning them some of their drums and other <laughs> percussion equipment. Fashion by Nicole doing the Wizard of Oz and an old Studebaker. red Studebaker. Yeah, that's a cool truck. Great truck. And this has got to be the Hathaway Farm and Corn Maze. What a tractor. We've gotten lost in that corn maze a time say, or two. Yeah. <laughs> I think you got me out of there one time. This year they have there. Children of the Corn Part 2, another 80s reference. Nothing spookier than a bunch of little hollow-eyed <laughs> kids coming out of a cornfield, right? And they're having fun with it. royalty from Mill River. And there's Shayla Tarbin. Shayla Tarbell. Oh, and this is the Dark Side Bakery with a Jurassic Park theme. One of my favorite movies. And Stephen, one of my favorite mom memories was taking you to the 25th anniversary film of um, Jurassic Park. Was it 25th or 20th? 20th. 20th. Back when we had a movie theater. Yes. And we came out of there just so scared. Do you remember that? I do. I, I, just, about it. I expected to see dinosaurs just Shoot. coming out from behind the price chopper or something. <laughs> Crescent Street mini bikes with monsters on mini bikes. And then, of course, coming up, the Shriners. The Cairo Shriners with their mini choppers in their gondola graveyard. Shriners not looking so mini there with their, uh, they've got mini choppers, but a very large sh Shriner walking through the streets. Shriners are special to our hearts for all the work they do for children. An amazing organization has been around a long time. Oh 
Some special thank yous tonight to Comcast and Xfinity, Bendig Paving, Rutland Rec Department, Chief Brian Culcullen, the Rutland County Sheriff's Office, times like this I'm missing Tom a little bit because he could tell you every single one of those cars and I always just say hey those are cool looking cars it's always fun to see these cars come through I'm thinking that's got to be Rave, right? That's coming through with the cars. The Rutland area vehicle enthusiasts. Yes, it was. They bring some of the coolest cars to our community. Well, the rest of us can only dream. Some of these look like something that used to be in your matchbar matchbox collection back in the day. Nice, we got Rutland Area, Rutland Area Robotics with their Wally themed float. This is a very creative very float. Nice I was excited to see it. I saw it in the newspaper and I was excited to see it in person. Here we have a 1996 Cadillac Fleetwood hearse, all original, driven by Andrew Pihota and Jade Carr. When you got your license, you said you wanted to drive a hearse. Yeah. And I thought that was weird. It was all for the cargo space. You <laughs> have a lot of cargo space there. That is, a, I gotta say, that is a cool one, though. I think I just watched Harold and Maude and felt inspired. <laughs> oh, there, you're an old soul. Oh, the kids are pretty hyped up on sugar out there, having a good time out in the crowds. Oh, look at the little little skellies there, skellies in training. They can't wait for their day to march through the streets. Oh, we've got cows and witches. Good combination. Yes. Getting along tonight, the cows and the witches and the firefighters and the lions and the skellies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell tales out of school, Stephen, and tell the viewers that uh, you had a lion costume that you wore from the time you were two until you were about five or so. Yeah. Five, yeah. <laughs> until it didn't fit anymore, right. let's yeah. put it that way. One day I found you when you're about three years old asleep <laughs> in your bed in July, zipped all the way up to your chin in that lion costume. That? Still got it. It's pretty cute. Vermont National Guard. We thank our Vermont National Guardsmen and women everything they do and we got the Green Mountain Model T Ford Club at least those cars I can recognize yes. <laughs> and no not because I was here when they were invented <laughs> Beat me to it. I knew you were gonna say it yeah oh that one is very cool isn't it Jen's Union Elementary School doing Thriller. They've come quite a way to join us. Yeah. Getting all these kids all the way from Virgins. We thank them. And of course, all the parents and teachers 
administrators who are involved as well. Thanks for coming all the way down to Rutland. More cars from the Rutland area vehicle enthusiasts, also known as Rave. Rave was born in 1978. And you know what they do? They go around and they fundraise and give the money to various charities throughout our community. In 43 car shows, Rave has sponsored over $195,000 has been donated to local charitable organizations. That's fantastic. That's really great. Keep up the good work, Rave. We always love seeing you. Special thanks to the PEG TV staff for helping make this night come together. Chelsea Vogel, Rich L. Nicky, Jim Boughton, Chris Donahue, Nancy Donahue, and Tom Leipold. I want to thank you for all you do. And a special thanks to your dad out there, oh, Stephen. Yeah. Andrew Wilson's out there getting some of those up close and personal shots. See Between Rich and, and your dad, we're getting some uh, great footage tonight so that we can bring this parade not just to the Rutland community, but all over the world, really. They really did. They brought the most fun and different and amazing vehicles. Picture that little uh, matchbox collection <laughs> come to life. Thank you to Rave. Wow, that brings your, like, feel like you're in a gangster movie when you see some of these cars. Oh, and look at that. Look, look at that old truck. I look at these and I might be able to tell you the decade, but I don't know that I could do much more than that. <laughs> We've got the 802 Ghostbusters of Vermont, a group of community-minded cosplayers and fans of the Ghostbusters franchise. Boy, the uh, cosplay folks are having fun at the Rutland Halloween Parade tonight, bringing their sense of fun along with them. Another 80s classic with Ghostbusters. I mean, there was a reboot, but I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> Night Motorsports. It's a team of Cody Dion, Tim Robinson, Andrea Noble, and TJ Knight can be found every Saturday at Devil's Bowl Speedway.
having a lot of fun. Ooh, Michael Myers made it here tonight. I'd rather he had stayed home. <laughs> Dead Silent Auto Group cruising in at light speed with a Star Wars theme. Thank you to Dead Silent Auto Group for joining us this evening. And I think we're just going to get to enjoy lots of cars cruising through right now. Special thank you to Peg TV, to Mike Rotella and Rotella Kitchen and Bath for applying, supplying the judges stand each year and for over 60 years. All Rutland City Departments for all the things they do helping us get this parade going. Of course the Rutland Recreation Department. Alderman's Toyota for donating vehicles for the Pumpkin Royalty. Initial ideas for donating the Tom Fagan Trophy each year. Our volunteer judges for the parade. The amazing volunteers that pull off this entire production. Let's be honest. Look at all these beautiful floats and know how much volunteer work goes into all of that. Um, I want to thank you, Stephen, for being with me tonight. And a special thank you to all of the parade entries who put in the time and effort to give our spectators a great Halloween experience. This is a good one. This is great. We yeah. always get the best view too, I think. We've got a great view here. Front and center. Right next to the judging too, so. Absolutely. And thanks to Peg TV for, you know, not every night is this nice and not everybody lives close to this parade, so if you couldn't get out for it, you're gonna get to catch every single moment. It's great to have them archived too when you want to go back and watch. That's a good point. You can go back and watch. You can find them on YouTube. You just really, we can go way back with these parades. And we're lucky to have this in our community. And we're lucky to have Big TV. Another successful Rutland Halloween parade. 62 years. We had a couple years there where um, the parade couldn't go on and boy our community was happy to have it back. Still cruising with the dead silent <laughs> auto group. Barely heard them go by. <laughs> they, were, uh, they were bringing us the action tonight. Thanks everyone for watching the 62nd annual Rutland City Halloween Parade. Great weather, great crowd, great company up oh, yeah. here in the broadcasting booth. <laughs>